Hello everybody, how's it going? Remington here, and today I'm here with you for a tutorial uh, on how to customize my Diamond Explosion intro template that I recently posted. So, first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and extract this file to our desktop. So I'm going to right click and click Extract Files. And then you can see I already have it set up, Desktop. If you don't have this, just click on your desktop up here and it should... Oh wait, yeah, it should automatically do that. So let's go ahead and click that. And we get this nice little folder up here with all of our files included. So a couple of these things, uh, this is actually a little render I accidentally did. Um, that won't be in the final download, so just ignore that. I have a emerald block, which is a texture that's used in the intro. This is the file we'll be editing. This is the music for our intro, so if I go ahead and open this. So that's our intro music, and then we have the final render here, which you probably already seen. Then we have Minecrafter 0.ttf. This is a true text file. It's the font face for the intro. And then there's the readme.txt, which most likely brought you here. If you have any questions, go to the readme.txt and it should outline this entire thing. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the Minecrafter 0 uh, font. So just double click it and click install up here. I already have this font installed, so it's going to give me a little error. I guess we'll replace it. But it should just say installing Minecrafter 3. And then once it's done, it should disappear and this install will be blocked out. Go ahead and click X. And now you're done with this. Next, we're going to go ahead and open the Diamond Explosion intro. If you've done this correctly, you should see that this text has the correct font face to it. To edit the text, right click the orange right here, press tab on your keyboard, and press backspace to delete all. Enter your name. I'll enter Remington. Press tab again. Now you may notice this text still says your name. That is because it, um, it's two different font faces or two different text objects that I used. Right click on the other object. Right click to select in Blender. And let's go ahead and do Remington. Beautiful. Now you can see this is our timeline down here. If you kind of drag this little green line back and forth, you can get a general render of this thing. For those of you that have less powerful computers, I'd recommend staying away from the 90 to 180 area because this is where a lot of the explosions are going on and diamonds are flying everywhere so but you can see once we render this or once we just do kind of a little slow thing you can see how our object is in there I did take out the text on or these blocks on the end because I wanted to add uh, some things for people with longer names so to render this go ahead and click render and then select render animation this is set by default to render to your desktop as an AVI file and it should have a name something like uh, AVI 001-350 I believe that's the default and yeah but for people with longer names uh, what you can do is you can go ahead and type in a longer name we'll do banana cat guy and press tab again to exit out and then we'll do banana cat guy and then press tab to exit out but you notice it's off the screen and when you have it back here oh actually it doesn't stick out the end but you can kinda see what you do is I'm gonna go ahead and get to another frame right here around 260 what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the orange hold shift and right click the um, the white text so now you can kind of see we should be able to move these back and forth kind of in a blocky thing if you don't like this and you want a more definite you can click this little magnet down here and then it won't snap to the grid so you can see it fits much better now if you don't if it doesn't stick like if you're uh... if you're back back over here and you only have one selected and you move it simply press control z to undo and try and select the other text again so now you can see we can move this back into place and then when we look at it it looks much better now since it's centered 
and then we zoom into the center and that looks good so let's go ahead and render this render then render animation you can also come over here to this little camera and select animation you can also change if you're a more advanced user you can change the uh, different render settings down here so I'm just gonna use this little tab render animation and you can see it's slowly rendering render time may uh, it will vary depending on your computer's processor GPU and different factors but I recommend at least four gigabytes of RAM for this if you don't have that much it might cause errors throughout this so I'm gonna go ahead and skip the video until we are done rendering and then I'll do some effects in Sony Vegas Pro alright so my um, intro finally finished rendering it took a total of about three or four minutes on my computer had time to watch a YouTube video but um now let's go ahead and get back to work I'd recommend saving this to your desktop or any location before we continue so I'll save this as okay that sounds good <laughs> but uh, you'd actually want to type your name in there just click save as blender file just in case something went wrong with the render and you have to re-render it so now I have this file called zero zero see I told you it was like something like that but you can kinda see when I open it you see it goes by TNT falls explosion and it says banana cat guy and you can see it works just perfectly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up our editing program I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 12 uh, so yeah <laughs> not much more to say besides that uh, it's opening up on my other monitor so we'll just drag this over now I'll w if you use a different editing program it's still the same general concept what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and import your media I'm assuming if you have experience you know how to do this so we're gonna go ahead and import the 001350.avi and the horizon by casbo expert uh, excerpt and now let's go ahead and drag this down here into our track and we're gonna drag the audio with it so now if we watch this if we So, now that I have this, you can see that it all should match up perfectly. If it doesn't, something might have gone wrong with the render, and I'd re-render it. So, from here on out, it's pretty straightforward. You just render it, but I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to do the effects that I used with this intro. Um, this won't, this probably won't work in any other uh, program. Uh, I'm saying a lot, but this is specialized for Sony Vegas Pro 12 so if you uh, if you aren't using Sony Vegas Pro 12 or 11 or I believe it's also available in 10 but I'm not sure I'd have to get confirmation on that um, this is where you stop you just go ahead and render it and then you're pretty much done so for the blur effect at the beginning you're gonna go ahead and skip to about the end right about halfway through when we're going through the blocks you're gonna go ahead and make sure you've got the top track selected and then you're gonna go ahead and press S this splits the video next you're gonna kinda zoom in with the scroll wheel and you should see two little icons in the lower right hand corner one looks kinda like a square with two little thingies coming off the end and the other I have no idea what it is kinda like a puzzle piece and it should say event F or FX so go ahead and click that you're gonna go find Sony Glint Oh wait, no, that's not yet. You're gonna find Sony to focus, defocus. You can click Add and then OK. So now we have this little thing over here, this nice little window, so we can kind of see if we move our cursor along our timeline. It's blurred out pretty well, but when we want it to clear up, it's just kind of jumping. So if you kind of watch over here, do that nice slow fade in. What you're going to do is you're going to come over to where it says radius. You're going to click that little clock 
icon and it says animate you're going to go to the very very end and you're going to change the radius to zero this should add a perfect blur effect to this so I'm also going to add a little fade in effect so to do this just go ahead and grab this little upper right corner just drag it in a bit and then at the end we need the glint effect when it initially explodes. You're going to go ahead and get to about where the TNT is exploding and then you're going to use your right and left arrow keys to get right to about here right after you can still see those last three blocks right here and you can see they're all surrounded by a bunch of flailing diamonds and then you got the little TNT explosion particles up here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna again make sure you have the top track selected you're gonna oops you're gonna go ahead and press S go about to um, well actually to get this exact you're going to want it. once you get to here you're gonna go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 frames you're going to press S again. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this first video track, right click, insert video track. You're going to take this clip, you're going to press Control C, you're going to go to where this track begins and press Control V. If this isn't snapped, just go ahead and drag it around until it snaps. Next you're going to go over here to the video effects, you're going to go to glint, and then you're going to drag the sparkle preset onto this top video track. If we go ahead and center over this, you can kind of see a general idea of what it looks like. Right now, it looks really crappy though. So, hang on, I got a cough. <coughs> I need water. <laughs> anyway, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and keep the threshold around where it is. You're just gonna lower the boost a bit. You're gonna change the hue to that blue color that we see in the intro. Keep the hue sweep at zero actually. Set the hue sweep to zero and then keep that. Lower the saturation to about 63. Orientation is fine. I like uh, a higher amount of streak but it just depends on what you like. Um, I also came over here to the mask and I did an ellipse mask. And we want effect from the mask mode and then we're going to go ahead and expand the width and the height and probably keep it centered is perfect so I'm actually going to change the height and the width to max and we don't really need to toggle with the softness and then I'm going to give it a bit more boost and uh, lower the thresh. Actually, I'm going to lower the threshold a lot and lower the boost. I'm actually going to just take the mask off. So if we kind of come over here to our timeline, it's hard to do this without this getting in the way. Let's go ahead and shrink them down, so you can kind of see. Boom. And then, but we really do not want that just harsh jump. Ooh, my keys we showed. Tish we showed. Um, but you're gonna go ahead and just add a fade out effect. So it's it's the same thing as the fade in at the beginning. So we have the initial and then kind of adjust to the exposure. And now you're pretty much done with this intro. You're just gonna go ahead and render it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and play I'm gonna go ahead and render this. So you're gonna come up over here to render as. I'm rendering it as six megabytes per second HD 720p video and we'll go ahead and name this um, we'll, we'll do this again yep that works and you can see I'm rendering it to my desktop it should already you should probably already have a, something set for this unless you just got Sony Vegas Pro uh, but if you don't just click browse over here and then you can navigate to your thing make sure loop region only is not checked I, <laughs> I had the so much trouble with this because it was I didn't know what I was doing but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and click render and you can see my thing is slowly rendering 
and I'll go ahead and show the final product after it's done. So I'm going to pause the video again until it's done. So our intro is finished rendering. I'm having this weird loading thing. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click open folder here so we can see it. And here we have. And that is beautiful. Uh, well, I hope this tutorial helped you guys, especially if you were having trouble rendering this yourself. Remember, if you ever have any trouble, uh, if you ever come across any trouble with this, don't be afraid to email me. My email is in the description. Uh, for $2, I'll customize the intro for you, add any effects you might like to it, and send it to you just like that. So, I hope this helped you guys. And, oh, one last thing. I am doing custom intros now, as some of you that are subscribed to me may have seen. Uh, custom intros are $5 a piece for a limited time. After that, they will be $15. Some people have taken advantage of this, and probably most people haven't. So, <laughs> if you want one of those, again, email me, tell me what you want, and I'll see what I can do. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Mm -hmm.